troubleshooting the lace maker's method. The knot did not tie correctly. In these instructions, the word string is used to represent whatever string, cord, twine, rope, yarn, or thread you are using to net. The word shuttle is used to represent either a netting needle or a netting shuttle. You very diligently followed the video on how to tie a netting knot using the lace maker's method. You try it on your own. Everything seems fine. Then several times in a row the knot just won't tie. What happened? What went wrong? This is where I would love to be sitting right next to you so you could show me exactly how you are tying the knot. But since that's not possible, and before you begin to panic or get frustrated and decide to throw everything in the trash, let me show you some possible reasons you are experiencing this problem. The shuttle does not go through the loop around the middle and ring fingers. It's very easy to create this situation. In fact, of all the problems we discuss in this video, this is the one I still have problems with occasionally, especially when I'm netting very quickly. Let's see what happens when the shuttle does not go through the loop around the index and middle fingers. It looks like a knot is tied, but if you pull on the loop around the mesh stick, it quickly becomes obvious that there really is no knot tied. To undo this non-knot, just have the shuttle follow the string back through the loop. Let's look at the problem again slowly. Notice that when the shuttle does not go through the loop around your fingers, there is an extra string across the shuttle. See, when the shuttle goes correctly through the loop around your fingers, that extra string is gone. And when you complete the entire knot tying process, you have a knot. Notice that this time when you pull on the loop around the mesh stick, it does not grow bigger. The string does not get placed across the foundation loop. This is probably the most common reason for the netting knot to be tied incorrectly. Let's see what happens when the string does not get placed across the foundation loop. It looks like a loop is wrapped around the mesh stick, but no knot appears at the bottom of the loop from the previous row. What appears to be the loop around the mesh stick is actually an incipient knot tied around the mesh stick. To untie this knot, remove the mesh stick, have the shuttle follow the string back through the loop, and then through the incipient knot that was around the mesh stick. Let's look at the problem again. Notice that after the thumb is placed on the string from the shuttle, the string is brought down toward you as you prepare to go through the loop around your fingers. What you should do after the thumb goes down is swing your right arm out to the left and place the string over the foundation loop. The shuttle goes under the string placed across the foundation loop. Let's see what happens when the shuttle goes under the string placed across the foundation loop. It does not look like a knot is tied. It appears that the shuttle has just gone through the loop. However, a knot was tied. If you remove the mesh stick, you will find this knot. To undo this knot, first have the shuttle follow the string back through the loop. Gently pull the knot open. Have the shuttle continue to follow the string through the opened knot. Let's look at the problem again slowly. Notice 
As the shuttle comes through the foundation loop, or the loop from the previous row of netting, it needs to go over the string across the foundation loop. Going under causes the problem. Going over ties the knot correctly. Stated another way, when the shuttle comes out of the foundation loop or the loop from the previous row of netting, make sure the string across the foundation loop stays between the netting shuttle and the tension device. The string placed across the foundation loop creeps up next to the mesh stick. If there is not enough string coming from the shuttle to allow the string to be placed way back over the foundation loop or previously made netting, it is possible for that string to creep up next to the mesh stick. There are two ways the shuttle can go in relationship to the string that has crept up next to the mesh stick. If the shuttle goes under that string, the knot and loop look like the problem we just discussed in when the shuttle goes under the string placed across the foundation loop, and it should be treated in the same way. If the shuttle goes over the string that has crept up next to the mesh stick, there is no knot tied. To undo this non-knot, just have the shuttle follow the string back through the loop. Let's look at the problem again. The string that should be back over the foundation loop or previously made netting is right next to the mesh stick. The shuttle can go either over or under that string, but either way results in a problem. Placing the string far away from the mesh stick makes sure it will be in the correct position so the knot will tie properly. Release some of the string on the netting shuttle if necessary so there will be plenty of string to go easily across the foundation loop or previously made netting. Catch problems early. When the netting knot does not tie properly, that is the best time to untie the attempted knot and retie it correctly. To catch the problem at that point in time, either check the knot to make sure it is a knot, or pull on the loop around the mesh stick. If the loop slides, the knot was not properly tied. If you don't catch this problem right away, it could mean untying many correctly tied knots.